Hi, it's Mike Shaheen with HHO Connection. A while ago I put out a video showing off my handy portable 12 volt HHO torch system that I made out of uh, various HHO components put into this Stanley Fat Max toolbox. Now I got a few comments from people saying, why the heck did you go to all that trouble to make the video and then never fire up the torch and actually show it working? Well, I have to apologize to you for that. I figured, you know, you've seen a million videos already of guys with their torches melting uh, aluminum cans. So regardless, I am going to fire it up and, and show you what it can do as far as how, much, uh, how big of a flame I can get out of it depending on how much power I send it from my 40 amp power supply. But before I do, I want to take a, a quick uh, minute here to tell anybody that is getting into this stuff and you want to build yourself an HHO torch, don't even think about it unless you've got some good flashback protection. It's something you absolutely have to have because every single time you turn off that torch, you're going to get a flashback. So you've got to keep that from going down the line and blowing up your bubblers and possibly your whole HHO system. Now, it's probably overkill, but I've got three lines of flashback protection before it even gets into my box. Um, here's, I'm not going to show you the, the torch tip just yet, but just past the torch area, I've got two of these nylon, excuse me, um, PVC and aquarium stone, PVC tubing and, and uh, aquarium stone flashback protectors that I've shown before. I've got two of them in line right here. And then at the end of that hose, before it even gets into my box, I've got what I consider the Mac Daddy of all flashback protectors. These are made by HHO Gas Technology, and they're available at our website, HHO Connection. And if, again, if you're going to play with torches, I highly recommend you, you, you bite the bullet and get yourself one of these, because even if these little guys fail, this guy's not going to, okay? They can throw 10, 15 liters a minute of gas at it with no problem. Okay, it's going to stop it every time. So, again, I can't stress safety enough. Get yourself some good flashback protection before you even think about this. Now, real quick, before I fire up the torch, I'm just going to show the insides of the, of the unit one more time for anybody out there who didn't see it the first time. Okay, real quickly, for those who didn't get to see the first video, here's what's inside the box. Uh, on the top shelf, you have a 12-volt 12 12 volt DC 40-amp power supply. It's a, my benchtop power supply that I've shown before. It's for ham radios. It's made by Diamond Antenna. Um, second shelf, basically just a bunch of empty space that you can put stuff in. And in the bottom area, that's where all the goodies are. That's my 8 inch by 8 inch, 37 plate EBM dry cell. It's running five neutral plates between each positive and negative. Uh, from there you can see the electrolyte and the HHO going into the first reservoir, which is connected to the second reservoir. And it comes out of both of those. And it goes through my two stainless steel bubblers with flash ports and then goes out the back of the unit and the HHO gas goes to the torch. Okay, so that's inside the box. Let's show you the torch itself. So this is my HHO torch. Uh, it's just a couple pieces that I put together. I went to Harbor Freight and bought this number two oxyacetylene torch tip. It had threads at the end of it and so then I just took a, a brass fitting and tapped out the inside of that and screwed the two together. Uh, from there, I've got another fitting which connects to this stainless steel hose, which I've got to say, in, in hindsight, it's probably overkill. You don't need it. Um, I would just use your, your regular clear hose and connect straight to the fitting. But regardless, I'm going through this small three-foot piece of stainless steel hose, and then I have it going to another fitting with a little brass um, ball valve in there that I can turn the, the HHO gas on and off with. Again, very simple little setup. Just allows me to turn the gas on, turn the gas off. Okay, so now I'm going to actually light it up. We're going to go really tight in here. I'm going to put the flame right above this amp gauge so you can see exactly what the flame does as I turn the power up and down. Okay, so I've got the torch tip fired up. As you've seen in other torch videos, you can actually pass your hand through the flame. You don't want to hold it there, though. Okay, as you, if you look on my uh, power supply down here, I'm running just about 25 amps. And you can see the size of the flame. It's probably about, oh, I'd say about a five, four to five inch flame. Okay, I'm going to turn the amperage up now. Watch the gauge here and watch the tip of the flame. Watch the size of the flame as I turn it up. Okay, I'm going to go up. There's 30 amps. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but the end of the flame is probably somewhere in this range. And I'm going to take it up to as much as my power supply will go, which is 40 amps. There we go. And that's pretty much maxed out on my power supply. It's a nice little flame, though. You can see the tip is probably about out here somewhere. I can still feel a lot of heat this far out. Okay, now let's go to the low end, which is probably going to be about, on this power supply, I'd say about 18 amps with this cell. 
Okay, it's jumping down there. There's 20 amps. Let's take it down a little bit more. Uh, here's about 18. I could probably go a little bit lower, but I don't want to push it. The flame will just go out and they'll get a flashback. But that's a good size right there for a jeweler's torch or something small like that. All right, so now let's do what everybody wants to see. I'll melt something. Okay, I'm sure everybody out there has seen someone melting an aluminum can with an HHO torch. Well, I'm going to show you something that I don't see, haven't seen anybody do yet. This is my favorite thing, melting lava. This is just a big piece of uh, lava rock they had laying out in my flower bed. Look at this. Almost instantly, as soon as the torch hits it, it starts lighting it up. And the closer you get the torch to it, it wants to melt it. And it turns it into a really nice, shiny, like black glass. Here's a couple really small pieces down here. We'll zoom in and let you take a look at that. I want to melt those pieces. It acts just like glass. You can actually melt it together, melt it down into black glass, and then fuse it together. Now, if you're going to do this, I highly recommend that you use some sort of a uh, either welding goggles or really dark sunglasses or something because it's extremely bright and, and it can hurt your eyes. But look at that. And, it wants the, and the longer you hold it on there, the more it melts. It wants to ball together into a little bead. And I'll tap this other piece over next to it. And you'll see that you can actually fuse them together. Look at that. So if you want to make really neat like black glass jewelry, a black lava glass jewelry, it would be a great torch for that. Look at that. I just melted those two pieces together. Now watch when it cools down. You'll see it turns into a real pretty black glass. Just beautiful. So there you go. Something new you haven't seen before. Melting lava with an HHO torch. Have fun. Well, there you go. That's my handy 12-volt HHO torch actually working this time. I hope you enjoyed it. And I can't stress enough the safety factors that I pointed out. If you're going to build an HHO torch, you have to have good flashback protection. And if you're going to be melting things like lava, I really recommend, I use really dark sunglasses, um, something, because it, you, you have the potential to burn spots into your eyes, and that's not a good thing. So again, safety, safety, safety when it comes to HHO torches. If you have any questions, anything I can do to help you out, if you want to learn to do this stuff on your own, feel free to drop me a line at mike at hhoconnection.com and visit our website. We've got dry cells and flashback protectors for those of you who want to build your own torch. Take care.